Today, we were excited to test the NEJ Max 4 E80 laser engraver and demonstrate how to create various laser projects. Here are all the components inside the box. The machine is not pre-assembled, so you will need to put it together yourself. The installation manual is brief and unclear, so you'll need to find the installation video on the official website. Assembling the mainframe is straightforward, but placing the wires inside the drag chains can be challenging. The drag chain holders are also difficult to fix. The wire connections are more complicated compared to other machines. I spent a lot of time setting up the belt tensioner, although it is not mandatory. It took me about 1.5 hours to complete the assembly. Now we can connect the USB and power cables to start the machine. Let's dive into this machine. The design is quite different from traditional models. It features two long drag chains to secure the connection cables, giving it the appearance of an industrial machine rather than a domestic one. One of the biggest advantages of this machine is its large working area. An impressive 750 mm by 460 mm, making it the largest among diode laser machines. The maximum speed is 24,000 mm per minute, which is standard in the industry. The machine is also equipped with a motorized Z-axis, a feature not common among its competitors, allowing you to engrave materials of different heights more easily. However, it lacks safety features such as a security lock, emergency stop, or even a standard power button, so I am unsure how to stop the machine in case of an emergency. Unlike other machines, the laser module does not have a laser protection shield, so the laser beam can be dazzling to the eyes. Additionally, this machine comes with a drawing pen, enabling you to do some drawing, a unique feature not found in its rivals. I also found that this machine has a two-year warranty, whereas other machines usually have only a one-year warranty. The official light source life is also as high as 20,000 hours, nearly double that of its competitors. If you buy a kit set, it comes with a perfectly fitted honeycomb workbench to help protect your table. Let's start testing the machine. The machine comes with software, but it is overly simplistic, so I prefer to use Lightburn instead. Open Lightburn and import the desired file. I started by cutting 80 gram paper at a speed of 40 millimeters per second and 100% power. Before starting, you can use the motorized Z-axis to adjust the focus distance, ensuring the laser head is 25 millimeters above the surface of the material. Initially, the result was unsatisfactory, with the lines not being very smooth and ripples at the edges. I contacted customer support for help, and fortunately, they responded quickly. After fine-tuning the belt tightness and some parameters in Lightburn, I retried the cutting. The entire process took nine minutes, and the result was much better. Then I tried some other patterns using 160 gram paper, changing the speed to 30 millimeters per second and the power to 100%. Since the laser module lacks a laser protection shield, I found the laser beam dazzling even with eye protection goggles. The entire process took 10 minutes to complete. The result was visually captivating with stunning details. I couldn't stop trying more paper cuts. Once again, the cuts were clean and precise. Next, I conducted material tests on 4mm plywood with and without the air assist. First, I cut the material without air assist, which resulted in noticeable burn marks on the edges. The air assist is very helpful in reducing burn marks, and it is highly recommended to use during cutting. Here is the result with the air assist the performance is much better. After that, I decided to make layered wood art. I used settings of 4 mm per second and 100% power for cutting with the air assist on. The cutting took a total of 40 minutes. The result was intricate and delicate, although there were still some minor burn marks. I decided to enhance its beauty by spraying different colors and the layered art transformed to another level. It was joyful to watch the brilliant outcome.
Then, I wanted to make a wooden box using 3mm poplar plywood. I changed the setting to 8mm per second and 100% power. It took 30 minutes to complete all the cutting. And after I glued the components together, an elegant and gorgeous box was created. Next, I tested the engraving capability of this machine. First, I sprayed the slate with two layers of white paint. After it dried, I sprayed another layer of black paint. I used settings of 200 millimeters per second and 40% power with no air assist and an interval of 0.05 millimeters. It took 58 minutes to complete. The outcome had incredibly sharp details, capturing all the intricacies of the image. I tried another image with the same settings. The result had a professional and high quality look. This time, I sprayed the slate with two layers of white, one layer of yellow, and then one layer of black. The engraving result had a gradient yellow color, adding a unique charm to the work. Finally, I tested the drawing pen, one of the most creative features of this machine. Before starting, make sure the drawing pen is positioned just above the paper using the motorized Z-axis function. Import the desired file, set the speed to 30 millimeters per second and set the Z offset to three millimeters. It took 90 minutes for the drawing. The result was nice, but I found that the workbench was not perfectly level, so some portions of the drawing were not as clear. I then placed a board below the paper to ensure the platform was perfectly level and tried again. This time, the result was much better. It was a pleasure to see the curves so precise and expressive. These are the products I have made using the Niji Max 4 E80 laser engraver, and I am very impressed with the high quality of the results. Let's go over the pros and cons of this laser engraver. Starting with the pros, this laser engraver boasts a massive working area of 750 by 460 millimeters, making it the largest on the market. Another significant advantage is its versatility. You can easily replace the laser module with a drawing pen or a blade, opening up a wide range of creative possibilities. Durability and reliability are also top-notch with this engraver. The light source has an impressive lifespan of 20,000 hours and it comes with a two-year warranty. This longevity and warranty period are nearly double that of many competitors. Finally, the laser spot size is as small as 0.06 millimeters by 0.06 millimeters, resulting in stunningly detailed engravings. However, no product is without its drawbacks. One notable con is that the machine requires extra time for fine tuning to achieve optimal performance. While this can be a bit tedious, the effort is worth it as the machine becomes incredibly powerful once properly set up. Another downside is the absence of a laser protection shield. This means you need to take additional safety precautions to protect your eyes and skin from the laser, which can be a significant concern for some users. When cutting wood, you might notice slight burn marks even with the air assist on. While these marks are generally acceptable, they can still be noticeable. Lastly, the instruction manual is overly simplistic and the official website is not very user-friendly.
this can make the initial setup and troubleshooting more challenging. However, the customer support team is quite helpful and can assist with any issues, which is a significant plus. Overall, I think the Nejo Max 4 E80 laser engraver is not designed for beginners. However, if you are an experienced user looking for a laser machine with longevity, a large working area, and compatibility with different drawing modules, this machine is an excellent choice.